Okay. So how many of you, this is going to seem a silly question, but how many of you have friends out of all of you? Raise your hand, come on. Okay, so the class, some of you aren't paying attention. Now, how many of you have friends who are gay or lesbian? That's actually a decent number, I wasn't expecting that. Now, to those of you who have friends that are gay or lesbian, how many of those friends have killed themselves? So we're not the only ones here. I have two friends who are, well, I have multiple friends who are gay and lesbian, but I have two that mean a lot to me. Kenzie Farmer, and my, well, he was my best friend, Matt Stanley. This speech is more aimed towards Matt's situation. Matt shot and killed himself a year ago. January 17th, I received news that my best friend had shot and killed himself. I was in the middle of class, and my world had come crashing down around me. You'll have to forgive me if I start tearing up, because this is still a really touchy subject for me. But Matt was, Matt came out in the middle of his senior year in high school, and I thought nothing of it. He was still my best friend, he was still my older brother. And he went to college, he went to Western State, and last year he killed himself. When I was given the opportunity to find three speeches that influenced me somehow, I took this up chance to speak about gay rights, gay lesbian rights, and bullying and suicide at the same time. I have three speeches from three different people. Joel Burns, there's so, so, so much more. Tim Gunn's, I attempted to kill myself. And a small message from Sarah Silverman, they learned it from watching you. I'm gonna speak to you guys first about Joel Burns' speech, there's so, so much more. Joel Burns would have been, or was, a council member in Texas last year during November. He was wearing his pink shirt and he was talking, they had mentioned something about breast cancer awareness, November is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. In that time though, he had taken his 12 minute slot and talked to his council members about the suicides of four, five young teens. These teens were all gay or lesbian and they had received multiple threats from pet school, from various of their classmates, their peers, people that sit next to them, telling them they were less than people, they deserve to go, die, they deserve to go to hell. And so Joel took his 12 minutes and spoke about his story. He himself is a member of the gay community. In his speech, he told them about a situation. He grew up in Texas and he was constantly bullied. He was gay. He was treated differently. In the middle of his speech, he broke down crying, and I couldn't help myself but tear up too. In the middle of his speech, though, he did say, do not give up. It's never over. It's not over. There's so much more you can do. There's so much more that you have going for you. Just because someone says you are different, you deserve to go to hell because of your life choices, doesn't mean that everything's over. I wish Matt had seen this a year prior because it wasn't over for him. It, it wasn't over, he was only 20 when he took his life. I, I hope that he hears this somehow. And now I'm gonna to speak to our next speech about Tim Gunn, I attempted to kill myself. Tim Gunn, some of you may know him, he's a well-known celebrity. His speech was only two minutes long, where he had also exclaimed that he attempted to kill himself. In that though, he said the same thing that Joel had said in different words. It's not over. Don't kill yourself. There's people out there that love you. Your family, your friends, people you've never met. They still love you for who you are. There's no reason that you should be giving up yet. Because some of the best people, some of the greatest people in the world are gay or lesbian. A lot of musicians were les gay or lesbian. Ellen DeGeneres, multiple people have brought her up. Amazing person, she's lesbian. The, I can't recall his name right now, but the lead singer to Queen, he was gay. He made amazing music. Everyone loves Queen. And people always gave them flack. People will continue to be indifferent. But there are people out there that are amazing who are gay or, or excuse me, that are gay or lesbian. This, I also wish that Matt hadn't heard before he decided to take his life on January. 
because it's true. There are people out there that love you. I do. I still love him. Every day I think about him. If you remember um, beginning of the class, I wore a green bracelet, bright lime green bracelet. I no longer wear it because I gave it to the lead singer of my favorite band. Uh, his name's Garrett Rapp of The Color Morale. You can look it up. There are pictures of him where he's singing, and it's been three weeks since I saw him, and he's still wearing my bracelet. And so it's kind of my little story to the world of why he's wearing that bracelet and what it's for and what I hope it means. And you'll have to forgive me, but to our next speech, to our last speech, is the one from Sarah Silverman. Everyone knows who Sarah Silverman is. If you watch TV, you understand who she is. And she's a great comedian. I find her hilarious. And her last speech was, they learned it from watching you. This was a kind of a catchphrase from a movie, not a movie, but a commercial, uh, I believe through the 80s. You're supposed to drop the marble. <laughs> Sorry. And I'm going to read to you her little speech. It's only 28 seconds long. But Dear America, when you tell gay Americans that they cannot serve their country openly or marry the person you love, you're telling that to kids too. So don't be so fucking shocked and wonder where all these bullies are coming from that are torturing young kids and driving them to kill themselves because they're indifferent or because they're different. Albeit short, I found this to be the most powerful message that I had seen out of the three. And I say that because it's short, but it's, it's telling the world, this is what you're teaching your kids. By acting like this, you're setting an example for your kids, and you need to understand that it, it, it can't be like this. There are people out there that are extremely vulnerable to everyone's words. And so this being said, I, this is the exact reason why I picked these three speeches. Sarah Silverman's, Joel Burns, and Tim Gunn's. Each of their speeches means something specifically to me, and that's to love indifferently and to live life for those who haven't gotten to live.